Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you this epic prep guide to help you level up the fastest way possible when a Black Armoury DLC launches. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so it's pretty much common sense that when the Black Armoury DLC launches and all the new updates to the game become available, power level is going to increase. Now to what number we don't actually know yet, I believe it's either going to be an extra 50 power levels or maybe an even extra 100 power level increase. What do you guys think of this? Let me know down below in that comment section. Okay so there are numerous things you can do to prepare and help you get a major edge on others in terms of climbing that power level ladder. Now obviously people, this is for those who are already at a power level 600, I mean it would help, it would work to increase your level no matter what level you are, but my intentions within this video are to help those at power level 600 and want extra ways besides the stuff that normally releases and will release when the Black Army drops to increase their power levels even more so. Between now and Black Army we've had this week's weekly reset and we'll have next week's weekly reset meaning most of the tips today for leveling up you can stack but even if you are watching this within one weekly reset to farm that's fine too. All will still help you increase that level. Okay, so let's get into it. So there are numerous bounties you can actually save and stack in game right now, which will help, which you can keep within your inventory until the Black Army drops, which when cashed in, will reward you powerful gear, increasing that power level. So what bounties can you use and stack? Firstly, Spider. Each week, Spider has a wanted bounty, which costs five gold fragments to buy. This upon completing it and cashing in will reward you powerful gear. So go to him, grab these, complete them and leave them in your inventory until Black Armoury drops. I have last week's ready, we'll do this week's and we'll do next week's, meaning I from Spider alone will have three powerful bounty rewards to cash in once Black Armoury drops. Now you can obviously see the Iron Banner bounties too, now Iron Banner isn't here anymore but if you have these bounties not cashed in yet, keep them until Black Armoury. Other bounties you can do but they won't stack are Petra's bounties. She offers three powerful gear bounties each week, which are the same each week I do believe, meaning you can't stack them. The Oko Engine, the War on the Dreaming City and the Ascendant Challenge. Now I mean if you need these bounties, you need to cash them in, you need some sort of reward, you need progress, you can still do that. Like I said, there's another reset to go. So do those ones following next week Tuesday's reset and save them until Black Army. Like I said, these don't stack so either do them now and you won't be able to do them next week or do them now, cash them in and then do them next week and stack them. That's up to you people. Also guys, the Drifter himself allows you to earn one powerful piece of gear via completing a Gambit bounty each week. Again guys, because these can change each week, they stack. I currently have two in my inventory. Next week I hopefully will get a third which I can complete and stack. Akora each week offers you a powerful reward for completing 20 bounties. These as you know can be any bounties whatsoever in the game. Again guys complete this and leave it with her until the black armor drops. This is another powerful reward you can have waiting for you. Important to remember if you are wondering, these engrams increase with your level, so if you don't pick them up straight away, they will increase as your level increases. Same with Hawthorne, which we will get onto. Hawthorne also has a weekly challenge for a powerful reward, and you need to earn that 5,000 clan XP. This again guys, you can complete and leave with her until the black armory drops. Also with Hawthorne guys, there are clan rewards, 4 in total I believe or you can stack with her PvP, Nightfall, Gambit and Raid. Do any of these each week to earn that powerful gear, keep it with her until Black Armoury drops and these are simple means of earning powerful gear to help you increase your power level. Also guys, the Flashpoint Planets. Do what's needed on these Flashpoint Planets, normally public events and so forth and leave the powerful engrams with the vendor on that planet until Black Army releases. I've tried and tested this and as you can see it definitely works. Flashpoint planet this week is Mercury. Last week's I did and left it on IO and as you can see it's still there for me to go and pick up whenever I want to. So that's pretty cool. There are also engrams you can stack too. Prime engrams you know very well are probably the best means of leveling up. 
These you can stack in your postman stack getting one per day. Now I will state, this is PvE only. Playing PvP and getting those powerful Prime Engrams, they automatically pop up on your screen and go into your inventory. But this means they won't, like everything else, raise with your level if say left with vendors or in your postmaster. So playing PvP won't help you, but PvE will. If you're playing PvE and you see a purple engram drop on the floor, try your best not to pick it up. Just leave it there and leave it to go to your postmaster. You can also, guys, I know it will be hard to resist, but you can also do this with exotic engrams. If you see an exotic engram on the floor, leave it there, don't pick it up and allow it to go to your postmaster. Now once you have left these engrams, you can then go to your postmaster and see what they actually are. Exotics we know are exotics, these work. These you can stack, these you should keep. But purples can be standard legendary engrams or prime engrams. Normal legendary engrams won't help you, but prime ones will. So go check via your postmaster if they are prime engrams. If they are, leave them there. If they ain't, remove them from your postmaster. Do one prime engram per day and you can seriously stack up engrams in prep for the black armory and these will help you incredibly people. And then guys there are exotic weapon quest rewards. Now I know most people will have done these already, some will still be chasing certain ones like the Malfeasance, but there are others which you can do again on second and third characters if you haven't done them yet. Quests like the Thunderlord, Malfeasance, Chaperone, Madame Mortal, Sturm, Rat King, Polaris Lance, Whisper the Worm, Legend of Accurus, Sleeper Simulant, A World Line Zero and maybe a few others I forgot. And in doing so, if you do these on second and third characters that are a power level 600, you can then use these exotic weapons as an initial boost for when you start playing a Black Armoury on your main character. I mean simply when a black armory has dropped, the Thunderlord, Whisper the Worm, the Legend of Accurus, the Sleeper Simulant, or the World Line Zero, these are all powerful weapons, meaning in reality only doing one of these is needed if you plan to use this for when the black armory drops. Pick up this exotic weapon quest reward over a power level 600 and then transfer that to your main for a slight advantage. This would work indeed. Again guys, just to make that even more simpler, if you have a second character, say your first is a titan, your second is a hunter, do this quest again on your hunter, complete the quest but leave the weapon of choice you are doing with said vendor until black armory drops. Pick this up on your hunter, it should be over a 600 power level, then simply transfer that to your main, in this case which would be the titan, for a slight advantage. So yeah, the Thunderlord, Whisper, Legend of Accurus, Sleeper Simulant and the Woodline Zero, these are all powerful weapons. You only, in reality, you only have to do one of these and you can even infuse it if you want to. Primary weapons, you have the Ace of Spades, Malfeasance, Chaperon, Mother Mortal, Sturm, Rat King. And again, in reality, you only need to do one of these. You can then, if you prefer, infuse it into whatever you want on your main character. That is up to you. Energy weapons though, there is only the Polaris Lance. Not a short quest by a mile either. I'm not even sure you can do this over one week. But if you can, which I ain't sure you can, it will still help you progress a little in terms of raising that power level upon Black Armour's release. Now obviously if you plan on grinding for any of these on a second or third character, there are two things you need to take into account. If you have three of the same character, three hunters for instance, I ain't sure these will increase your level. That's a risk you will have to take unless someone who has completed these on three of the same character can answer that. If that person is you, did the second increase your power level? or does it drop to a fixed lower power level? If you can answer that, be sure to do so down below within that comments section. Another thing which is important people, once you have completed these quest steps for said weapons, do not pick them up straight away. Leave them with the vendors. This means they will raise upon time when the black armory drops. So leave them until the black armory drops, then pick them up. Now most, if not all, of these exotic weapon quests I have tutorials for and guides for. Links to each can be found within the video description if that's something you think you need help on. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. I mean there are many prep guides out there on what you should be farming etc. Material wise, what you need, what would be useful and so forth. But we have seen so many of these guides now, I believe it's kind of common sense to stack up and set materials in prep for a new TLC. I just thought I'd do something a little different and try and help you get an advantage over the rest and earn and see a faster power level progression. On that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to turn notifications on. But again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never
get it right.